Hi, my name is Anthony Ward and welcome to this tutorial for 3D World magazine. What we're going to do over the course of the next few videos is have a look at how I went about creating the image which you can see before you now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus more on the actual creation of the assets. So this will be the modelling, UVing, sculpting and texturing. We're not really going to touch much on the rendering side of things uh, just due to time restrictions. Um, if you do have any questions though, how I went about rendering this, setting up shaders and lighting etc, then please feel free to uh, send me a message and get in touch via my website antcgi.com. Uh, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to answer any questions that you may have. So let's, uh, let's get cracking then and we're just going to start off with some simple primitives as we start to build the main character uh, for this scene. Um, and as you'll see, the very basic, we're just going to start off with some really rough basic uh, building blocks as it were. These will be the foundations which we will then apply UVs to and then after that we will export them to ZBrush where we can start sculpting in the detail and painting the uh, textures. Right, so I'm just going to start, well first I'm going to press Control and Space and get rid of all this UI just to make things a little bit bigger and I'm just going to create a polycube to start off with and this is going to be for the head. And you're probably wondering why I'm using a cube for the head and that's because I want I want to start with a sphere but I want a sphere which is based fully of quads. If I just create a sphere uh, and as you'll see I'm using the marking menus quite a lot to do this, I just find this workflow it's quite quick and a lot more fluid, especially in the latest version of um, Maya. If we just show you this here, turn on the wireframe. You see, with, with this sphere here, we'll ultimately end up with triangles at the end. So instead of having that, now, yeah, we could go in and sort of delete each other every other edge you know and that will force these to be quads but they're not very good quads they're not very uniform so let's get rid of that so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mesh and smooth let's just open up the options let's just add one subdivision to start off with so let's just increase that to two so what you can see now is we've got a sphere, completely quad based, and that will be our starting point. So now we can just start to uh, scale this up a little bit. We know we want his head to be wider, like so. And you'll notice I've got symmetrical modelling on. I'm pressing Control Shift and the right mouse button to bring up this marking menu here and we can go to symmetry we have our symmetry options here we can do it just by flipping across the x-axis which it is now but we can also base it on the topology as well but just the x-axis is fine so I'm just going to squash some of these up here and then I'm going to go to uh, insert edge loop tool open up the options and just make sure that edge flow is on We select like so and as you see that's kept the roundness there but also the mirroring's not working so let's just go back let's select that edge there and instead we're going to use the connect connect components tool and again we use insert edge flow and what this will do is it will connect the selected components so if I just select these three edges here click apply it will just create a connection between those three. So as you can see if I click apply now it's going to add in an extra edge loop down the middle and it's going to round it off and sort of average out the shape between the two sides and that's what insert edge flow does. So now we've got that extra edge in we can just adjust the shape slightly maybe 
like so. We could even try averaging the vertices, but that's not what I'm after. So now I'm going to press 3 and just see how this looks when it's with smooth mesh. That's looking okay. And remember, this is just going to be our starting point. So now we need to start marking in some of the landmark areas, sort of like the eyes. So let's see about adding them in. Let's add them Just move this over. I'm just going to use a slide edge tool. But as you see, this this is a still a slight problem with the uh, the symmetry tool. Even though I'm sliding the edge to the left, it's also sliding the edge to the left at this side. So let's not bother with that. Let's just go in and create an eye. I'm just looking for the. bevel tool I'm trying to remember where it is ah oh, I'm still using this slide tool that's why So it's actually chamfer edge, uh, chamfer vertex, as opposed to if you had an edge selected, it would be bevel edge. So that's what's uh, that's what's thrown me there. Just bear me, with me; it's early in the morning. So uh, right, so chamfer vertex, as you can see, this has given us a hole to start working with. So let's just make that a bit wider, like so. So what we want to do now is we want to turn these into quads. So I'm just going to connect those, connect those, connect those, like so. And let's just triangulate those. Delete the central edges there. And there what you see is we've got now quads. You also see that this side, now the symmetry is broken. So we're gonna to have to fix that as well. But let's just uh, let's just work on this side for now. Delete that there. Average those vertices just to soften them in. Round them off a bit. So, even though in this new version of Maya we have got a lot of improvements, there's still a lot that needs fixing with the uh, modeling tools, particularly like the symmetry tools. So, I'm just going to turn the symmetry off. Let's delete one half mirror minus x and turn symmetry back on. So there we've got the eye holes. They need rounding off a little bit but we can just tweak those as we go. Just clean up the topology a little bit. But you get the general idea. You can come back and uh, edit those later on. So now we're going to just create a rough placement for the mouth. So this time let's just go to connect components and I'm going to turn edge flow off because I just want to insert an edge there. Connect to create another one. And then I'm going to delete those there to create the cavity for the mouth. 
Now ideally we want a nice edge loop going around the mouth there. So let's just connect those components. Collapse that edge. And then now I've done that once, I can press G to collapse it again. So there we've created that edge loop around there. So now we just want to create another one. So we can just collapse that edge there. So that's fine. So we just need a bit, a bit of cleanup. Moving the mouse a bit big, so, but we can just scale that in now. Adjust it like that. And then it's just a case of adding in more edge loops. these edge loops just help to add a little bit more definition to the mouth. So maybe just select the faces instead, pull these up. Like so. And now we can see the mouth, the bottom lip is just too far back so we can just move that forward again. And as you can see it's just very basic geometry we're not getting too bogged down in details uh, so for the eye we can just create another edge there just to add a little bit of a recess to give a bit of uh, definition to the eyelids and that's then allowing us to go in and shape this a little further rounding those off. And what we could do to help us with the eyes is just create a temporary sphere like so. Let's just rotate that like so and then just scale that in. Now I know the eyes are going to be different shapes ultimately so I'm only going to have one eye at this side and already we can see that this side of the eye here needs a bit more work maybe push that back a little bit more Now we're just tweaking these. I mean, we, we could, the geometry for the eye, we could make live, which means that then the vertices will stick to it. But, you know, we, we're working with such a low resolution model, it doesn't hurt to have to just go in, push these around yourself. And we can use the wireframe on this, uh, this um, sphere there, just to help guide us with our placement. If we want the eye, completely round. We could just follow those vertices there. We could even snap them to them. You know, so we've got an eye, we've got a really basic mouth. We can just go in and elongate the head a little bit. Maybe the head's looking a bit too long, but you know, we can just come in and Scale this in, like so. Now I'm going to do a bit more work on the shape of the head, but I'm just going to skip ahead now, just, just to say, say you're happy with the shape of the head. What we can do then is just start to work on making it a little bit more interesting and not as asymmetrical. So let's say we want the eye on that side to be smaller. Just going to clean up some of this. I'm not going to get too bogged down in just tweaking these vertices. So, turn off symmetry. Just scale that down. 
And obviously we've got these large poly polygons here, so we'll maybe add in a few more divisions. Let's get that to fit roughly around the eye. And again, we can just tweak the vertices to fit. Connect components. And we can just push that in just to add a bit more of a eyelid. So that's just very basically the head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video, work on the head a little bit more, uh, and then we'll come back and just block in the basic body and the scarf. 